We are tired. This can't continue. Youth storms the streets in protest over civilian and army clashes. The youths in Nigeria sh should be worried at the escalating number of armed confrontation between the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police force on the one hand and non-state actors on the other. On Tuesday, April 6, 2021, there were reports of a massive military attack on Konshinsha, a remote village in northern Benue State. The Nigerian army had reportedly drafted full force on three communities in the area, killing undisclosed number of people, burning down hundreds of houses and displacing thousands. This was reportedly a bare-faced retaliatory attack on the people of the area after 10 soldiers were killed. In what the Nigerian army described as an unprovoked attack by yet to be identified gunmen, the troops were reported to be on a peace mission in the area which is a theater of frequent conflict between the thieves and jinkuns, as well as armed headsmen who attack farming communities to take over their lands. Also, on Friday, April 8, 2021, men of the Aba Area Command of the Nigerian Police reportedly went on a general rampage, attacking members of the public, destroying cars and tricycles, apparently in retaliation for the beating of their colleagues by some unidentified persons. Soldiers of the Nigerian Army have been known to take the law into their hands and militarily invade any area where they lose personnel to armed attacks. We saw this in Odi and Zaki Biam during the Obushago or passenger area. And recently, the airstrikes on targets in Olo Imo State and Ntak, Ikot Akman village in Esia, Udim, local government area of Akwa Ibom State. The police, which have recently come under attacks by hoodlums and the so called unknown gunmen, appear to have also embraced the same act of impunity towards the civilian population. Armed state actors are increasingly responding to hostility of the public with extra-constitutional revanchist measures. This is sad and unacceptable. We insist that the law, not jungle justice, be followed in dealing with all criminality, aggression against our uniform personnel must be thoroughly investigated and corporates brought to book. Jungle justice that targets innocent civilians is barbaric. Enemies of a community might resort to deliberately ambushing soldiers as a strategy to draw military destruction to them. The major source of public hostility to the armed forces and police is rooted in the growing perception that apart from the extortionate an oppressive power posture, they are now being deployed to either condone or even facilitate the settlement of armed headsmen in indigenous people's forests and farmlands. The federal government must make greater efforts to debunk this perception by protecting people's lives and property. This conflict might develop into full-blown anarchy unless the armed forces and police fully resume their constitutional duties on the people rather than being seen as the agent of their oppression or occupation.
Thank you for listening to this news. That is the truth. That is the truth. I don't know. I don't know how you feel, but I am telling you that it is the humble truth. You see, the truth is difficult, but should be told. It should be told. We should tell ourselves the truth. We should be, 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 be bold enough to tell ourselves the truth. You understand? Because if we don't start telling ourselves the truth now, when are we going to start telling ourselves the truth? This unnecessary uh, 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 army attacking the, the, the civilians is becoming too much. And the army has seen being the one going after these innocent youths. They attack them unjustly. They attack them carelessly. They brutalize them. Even the way they, they handled the youth, they handled them as if they are not human beings, as if they are also military like them. If you are attacking your fellow military, that one is different, but you attack the civilians the way as if you are attacking, you are attacking the, uh, your fellow military, military man. And mind you, don't forget that we are in a, in a democratic system of government and not a military system of government. If it's a military system of government, that one is different. This is democratic. Democratic give opportunity to air views, to, 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 to maintain, to maintain rights. You know, it gives you opportunity to speak, to speak when you discover injustice. Unfairness, but this administration has denied us of all of that. Why? For what reason? And why? Why? This is injustice, and this is what has brought activists like Shore, Namdekano, Sunday Igbo, and all of them coming out, coming out strong, saying, Why? 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 Why this? Eh? So, my viewers. All these have to stop. And this is the reason why we came up with channels of this kind. So that you as individual will come in and hear your opinions. Let's hear your voice. Let's express ourselves. So that they will know that they will know that we know what they know. Do you understand? So if you're new on this channel, do me free to come in and air your own side of the opinion. Click on the red subscribe button as well as bell button to receive more updates. Thank you.